More than 1,200 vertical solar panels, a world record, currently covers a quarter of Norway's Ullevall Stadium. In the first uh, run we are going to at least double it. The motivation is for the environment. In summer, the panels generated about a third of the stadium's energy needs, a share that is set to increase this winter when the system fully unfolds its potential. In this installation here, we, we generate more energy during the winter time, which is highly valuable. It's when the energy is more expensive and more needed here in Norway. It would make sense that solar panels generate the most electricity in summer, but this is actually not the case, as panels tend to overheat, meaning the higher the air temperature, the less voltage generated. But while the sun might not be hot in the winter, it does still shine, meaning one solution would be to adapt panels to stand vertically to catch the rays. These vertical and bifacial solar panels achieve a higher output, not only when getting energy from the low-lying winter sun, but also at certain times on a summer stay. We basically have too much solar energy during the middle of the day in the summertime. And vertical panels, they generate more in the morning, in the evening. Whenever excess solar energy is produced, it is usually exported to other areas or goes to waste. To counteract this trend, Trikve Mongstad's solar technology company has been developing its off-peak power solutions featuring silicon heterojunction cells, a new generation of solar cells that have proved more efficient in energy conversion than previous cells. And we are collaborating uh, very closely with some kind of Chinese companies now, um, basically because this cell technology is the best for vertical uh, bifacial solar installations. It's hoped the expansion of the stadium roof project will soon be given the go-ahead. Meanwhile, Mongstad's concept of vertical solar panels armed with Chinese technology is gaining popularity abroad, with several buildings requesting their own versions of rooftop solar fields. Johannes Beschberger, CGTN, Oslo.